What's up, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna test out Second Awakened Crow, the Dark Inugami in some quad damage dealer R5. Now this R5 comp has been all the rage since they changed R5. Well, what is the change to R5 and how did it really impact things? So before the R5 with the boss, the triple headed Drake, Kazaka Zakawawa, that's his name. We'll get, we're gonna go with that. Kazakawawa uh, used to jump every time you did 25% of his HP as damage. He would jump, the animation would take place, and he would go and do a bunch of damage to your team, etc., etc., right? So after the recent balance patch where they shorten the time of dungeons, they also shorten the time of R5 and he doesn't jump as much. So what does this mean? It means, first off, your team takes less damage overall. Second off, you don't have to s try to skip the part where he... Because KB5, Katarina Baylor R5, the whole premise of it was he jumps less, right? You're kind of minimizing the amount of jumps, the amount of animations that you have by doing big burst damage all at the same time. And it's like the, the, the R5 beast is like, oh, well, you triggered both of my animations. Well, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do less then because we're not gonna do animations back to back. We're not gonna do that. So now, since there's already less animations, since there's already less damage, you can run less support type units. You don't need Darian and Diaz so much since there's, he's doing less damage to you. And you can go for more gradual damage instead of burst damage all at once. So that's kind of, given birth to this new, this new meta of KB5 is still great. KB5 is still fine. If you have a KB5 team, you want to keep doing the KB5, perfectly fine. That's fast and it's even faster, right? It's even faster. But this new quad damage dealer team uh, that has been kind of emerging because of the changes to R5 is definitely viable. And especially for people that didn't build the KB5. I personally have built both. Um, so, well, I'm in the process of building the quad damage dealer one, but it's nice to be able to, if your friends are running KB5 and you can hop into a KB5 team quickly, then that's still going to give you faster runs. But if you don't have anyone to KB5 with, quad damage dealer R5 is going to give you almost as good times. And you're able to run with, I'll actually show you guys. Here's, here's some pros and cons. Here's some pros and cons. So, um, basically the KB5 Pro is it's a little bit faster. It's just going to be faster regardless, but you have to have the friends to to run with you. You have to know people or be willing to like go into a channel and be like, okay, who's like a lot of times channel 65, people KB5, QB5 even, uh, Cabeza New Far 5 as well. Like they try to look for people in that channel. So you can go that route, but they may not have the monster speed tune. They may have only five stars. They may not have finished the team and they're like, I'm running it, it's good. But it's like, you're like, no, it's not doing enough damage. It's not good, what are you doing? Um, it should be more reliable anyway, even after the even after the change, the KB5 should be a little bit more reliable. But if you don't want to go for trying to find teammates for that uh, quad DPS R5, is going to be really nice. I was doing it already. My team's not finished. But I'll show you guys the team now. Uh, it's already doing just fine. I was running with just random people yesterday uh, and it was working just fine and it was actually pretty quick. So I'll show you guys that. Uh, but basically these are the pros and cons. More pros to quad damage dealer R5 just overall. However, faster is a big pro. KB5 still being faster is a big enough pro that if you just want to find the people to run KB5, it's for me, it's hard to find KB5 people sometimes. Like sometimes they're like, we want to raid, 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 for whatever reason. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, there's a lot of people that want to raid today. That's great. I'll hop into those. But if I can't find people, because a lot of times I want to raid at like three o'clock in the morning, because I'm bagel, right? That's because I'm weird. But, <laughs> but it's like, so maybe it's a little bit more challenging for me to try to find people uh, at three o'clock in the morning. So, so for me, quad damage dealer is, is pretty nice. So anyway, talky, 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 bagel, talky, talky, talky. I'm going to show you guys some quad DPS R5 and we'll get the team faster eventually, but this is just the initial, the starting of the quad DPS R5. So here's the teams. Let's take a look at the monsters, the roles of the monsters, more importantly, see what they do, and also see what's missing from this picture. Now, disregard Emp Days. I'm just using his support. He doesn't even know I'm doing this video. He's like, oh, Bale, I didn't know you were gonna do that. I would've added more DPS for my team if I knew you were gonna do it, Vader. That's exactly what Emp Days sounds like. 
Ask him. No, he doesn't sound like anything like that. He doesn't sound like anything like that. Okay, but let's take a look at the teams and what the roles of the different units are. Now, in the first team, we see two supports. We see the Anubis, the, uh, the light Anubis. You don't need a light Anubis to run this. This just happens to be, it's a cleanser, and it provides a heal and three debuffs as well. He's got the heal block, he's got the defense break, he's got the brand, which is great. He's a great monster for R5. We also have the Fran. The Fran is a heal as well, and she's an attack power buff, right? So let's take it. those two monsters from the first one. Look at the second team. We have a Colleen and we have a Lisa. So Colleen has the attack power buff and a heal, and Lisa has a cleanse. She also has multiple debuffs because when she teams up with her third skill, uh, other things will attack with her. So that's extra debuffs. Also they have, uh, Colleen has attack break skill one, Fran has attack break skill one. So the Fran and Colleen are like the same basic spot uh, for, for their team, right? They're, they're the healer, attack power buffer, um, and the attack breaker. And then the Lisa and the Anubis are multiple debuffs and a cleanse. Now, Lisa and Colleen are on the same team because Colleen heals better than Fran. So we have two heals on the first team. Colleen heals quite a, a little bit more than Fran, so she's the healer on the second team. And then we also have Vampire on the two units in the front line. Actually, we have Vampire on a lot of the stuff in the front line heals by itself, right? Okay, so then we also have a few other things. We have the on the first team we have the monkey the monkey is a tanky bruiser he does some damage he doesn't do like crazy damage in r5 and then we also have the lich which the lich is actually similar to the monkey in its skill set he's got a defense break but he also um if you build him a little bit on the tankier side he will stack his attack right they both stack their attack when they're hit so eventually they're going to hit hard but if you build them tankier, like they can take some hits, etc., etc. Then there's also uh, big DPS. The first one, uh, the Brandy, and the first one is on Vampire. She's actually way tankier than she needs to be, I think. Uh, so she's on Vampire attack, crit damage, HP. And then we have this girl. She is attack, crit damage, H. Oh, she's attack, crit damage, HP too. So they're <laughs> they have very different stats though. Uh, but you have Vampire big damage dealers um, in that spot as well. And then the back line just has two uh, DPS units. And there's also some attack age reduction on both teams. So, qu kind of quad DPS, not quite quad DPS, because we could have some more damage in there. We're a little bit more on the bruisery side with some of these units. We could go a little bit more YOLO, but it's safe, it does work. Um, the things that are missing, if you're wondering, what did you take out? There's no Diaz, there's no Darian in these teams. The damage mitigation we don't need as much. So, uh, that's that's the thing that we took out for other stuff. You don't see a Fire Panda, you don't see things like that. So this is more of the traditional R5 core team with the damage mitigation taken out and more damage put in. So let's let's see how it does. It's a work in progress though, so it's started and it's it's pretty good so far, but it can definitely use some um, some improvements to being faster. Let's see, let's kind of take a look at uh, how both these do together. So we're doing a little bit of damage, okay. A little bit of damage, a little bit of damage. I want to show both the teams at the same time, but I think the Crow is a more exciting team. <sighs> oh, because it's Crow. I don't know why it's exciting because it's Crow. But it's Crow, it's exciting because it's Crow. But I don't want people to get hung up that like you need Brandia and uh, Fire Monkey and stuff specifically. The second team is a little bit easier to... Uh, like this team here that we're looking at right now, there's no Nat 5s on here. So this team, there's some Nat 5s, there's a Light Dark Nat 4. We don't necessarily need that. We could just use these. So... It's, as, as I'm just trying to show you like what the different. Oh my goodness, everyone CC. <laughs> Great example, Bagel! Everyone CC! GG! GG, sir. Fantastic. Okay, can we do some damage to actually kill this thing? Uh, and then let's see what let's see what the time is. But this also could be speed tuned more efficiently because I just threw these in kind of. Ah, the crew should be doing more damage than that though. All right, so let's see what the time is. I'm sure we'll have a better run. I wanted to explain it. We have a minute, fifteen seconds. That's not really great. So we'll we'll show a better run though. Hooray! Hooray, 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 hooray. Hooray, hooray.
Okay, we're gonna try it again. Same monsters, same teams, um, different support. So we're using Heaven's Royalty support. So we'll see. I kind of want to see more of this. We got all the debuffs on. Very nice, very nice. Got the twist kick. We got some, some of these. Yo, my this hua is ruined. It's amazing, amazing hua. I'll show you the hua. <laughs> I'll show you the one. She's just got decent stats. She's like she's always been ruined really wacky. So she's just got the right stats for the job. But yeah. Stats look good. You wouldn't think that it was on a bunch of random nonsense runes. But yeah, I don't really I, I only use her for like the R5s like this. That's the only thing that I use. Oh, everyone CC'd, okay. Everyone CC'd, does Lisa have her third skill? No. Yes, she has her violent runes though. So GG. Deadly peepee -pee touch, water dragon attack, and that should be... There we go. How fast was that? Not, I mean, not super crazy. It's not KB5 fast, but it's a little faster than uh, than it was before. So we have a minute. Okay, a minute. That's not that's not too bad. So we can, of course... Hey! You, uh, don't judge me. I'm going to keep that. <laughs> don't judge me. I'm going to keep that. There's so many I need. There's so many I need. Don't judge me. Don't look. Don't look. So now I want to try something a little bit different. I want to try doing this with a KB5 team. So they have a fully tuned KB5 team. They're going to be doing big KB5 damage. And now we're going to see how this team interacts or how these two quad DPS teams. It's kind of like 3.5 DPS teams. We're going to see how they interact with KB5. And if we actually can run with KB5 and it just merges the two times that it would take. I feel like it's just gonna merge the two times. I feel like the KB5 being 30 seconds and then the quad DPS being like anywhere from 45 to a minute is gonna just make it, oh, well, the teams are now like 40 seconds, 45 seconds. So I feel like that's that's the situation we're going to encounter. So let's see how, uh, let's see how fast it is now. So it seems to be run. It seems to have run okay so far. I mean, they ran out of steam. The KB5 ran out of steam because it's not because it's not with other KB5 teams. So you can't just like psh, psh, like one shot it, but uh, two shot it. But uh, okay, 55 seconds, 55 seconds. But it did run it with that. So ultimately, it's not as fast as KB5, but you do have the added benefit of only needing one other person to raid with you if you use two of your teams. So that's nice. Another thing to note. Another big thing to note is. Because I know there's going to be people like, oh, I've seen a faster time on Reddit. I've seen a faster time here or there. We did not change any of our monsters' runes. We didn't change any of our monsters' runes around. We just took whatever we have. We took the damage mitigation out and we put in some more DPS. And with this new change to R5, we were able to do that fairly successfully. Also, the teams that we were raiding with were not necessarily even in the, in the know about this. They were just like, whatever support they had is what we used. So it was doing, and even even so, this was even slow for compared to what I was doing last night. We were hitting a lot of 45 seconds, so that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice there, and this can be even optimized for doing it faster. So I'm going to show you guys as well a few different monsters that I think are going to be really nice. I, I'm going to optimize it to be hopefully around sub 40 seconds. I think we can optimize it to be, because we're hitting 45s. So I'm going to optimize it to be sub 40 seconds, and then I'm going to do another video on that as well. Uh, but I'll show you guys some really solid monsters for, that I think are going to be good for this. Uh, let's take a look at, ooh, you know what? We have these guys, actually, the fire one and the wind one, do quite a decent amount of damage. So I think those are going to be nice for this, as well as, the, I have her? I second awakened her on this <laughs> I don't remember Second Awakening around this guy, but if you say so, game. Um, so anyway, Eileen. I don't have her Second Awakening. Oh, maybe I fed her to uh, Elusia. Maybe I was, uh, I think I was Second Awakening her for that. This is actually nice based on attack age reduction, cleanse, and this. Damage passive based on harmful effects. So every time she uses skill one, she's going to do big damage. Like Crow like Brandia, like Xiao Lin, with skill one. So that's gonna be really nice here. Also, there's another one. There's another pretty little monster that no one really uh, uses too much. This Melissa, who else was I thinking of? I don't remember who else I was thinking of. Uh, but this one, 
attacks two times, inflicts damage, ignores all damage reduction effects, blah, blah, blah. Increases damage by 10% each according to the number of beneficial and harmful effects granted on the target. So, potentially that being, you know, the boomerang and chakram, and her multiplying the damage based on the amount of uh, enemy debuffs is really nice. I think there was another one that I meant to mention. I know Jean also. There's been a few people as well with the using the gene. Not just Sean B, not just your boy Sean B. There was actually a, a, quite a handful of people that were using gene for this uh, quad DPS R5. And I know there's other people as well that are like, oh, I created, there's a bunch of people that think that they created this quad DPS R5 meta. Like, for whatever reason, but really the thing is like, Comptuous created this quad DPS R5 meta by changing R5 so that we would be more enticed to run Quad DPS. That was their intent. That was come to us as intent. So no one really created this. It was come to us that created this, and we all caught on. So just just throwing that out there because I know a lot of people are like I created this new Quad DPS R5 meta. I'm like, listen, sit <laughs> sit down for a second. Sit down. Yeah, this was the intent from the developer, buddy. Um, so anyway, that's it for this one. We will do more. Uh, when we're able to speed it up, because I know we can speed it up, and we're going to shoot for sub-40 seconds uh, with some of the monsters that I mentioned, and we'll tune things accordingly. We'll make things even squish... not squishier, squishier, but we'll, we'll make things uh, more damage output and less sustaining, because we didn't actually change. Like, the Brandia, the Xiaolin were not changed from the old R5 to the new where we can make them squishier and do more damage, they are still in their needs to be somewhat tanky uh, region. So we can make it actually faster already. And we were, like I said, we were hitting like 45 seconds um, yesterday. I just don't know why we weren't hitting it today. But anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I will keep you in... Also, we don't have any skill ups on Crow either, which makes a little bit of a difference. It's not going to make that big of a difference uh, as far as like an extra 20 seconds, but um, I will show you the end result as well after we after we change things around to make it like super good. Anyway, that's it for this one. I will see you as always in the next one.